four holes. Same thing on this side. Before we do that though, I wanna grab a broom. Grab a broom. And now you wanna grab some scissors. And what we're gonna do is cut out a bristle or the, a bunch of bristles at the very end and just cut it right here and cut it like this. Bam, you're left with this. Do you wanna keep this? Let's leave this to the side. Let me brush away this mess first. Clean as you go, you want a clean area. Perfect. So now you're left with some bristles. Now I want you to grab some duct tape or if you don't have that, I'd rather have zip ties. Grab the zip tie, and you're gonna bunch them together like this after you cut them. So you're left with, make sure they're all the same level as well. Bam, you're left with that, a bunch of bristles. Do the same thing, let's repeat the process. Gonna cut it up. Leave those to the side. Cut more up and leave them to the side. So I'm gonna keep cutting it like this. Really simple. Keep cutting them all up. We'll do a few more and then continue the drilling. So I have bristles here. Now I'm just gonna quickly combine them all real quick, super easy. Like this. And watch how they get tightened up. Like that, perfect. Should left with, be left with that. I'll do it again, with the zip tie. Perfect. So now I'm gonna go back to the drilling. We have four holes on the side of the pot, right? Let's do the same thing on this side. Like this. And one more hole right here. Just brush this off. If you notice, holes all around this pot. So we gotta clean it up a little bit. There's some shrapnel in there. You don't want any of that shrapnel, just scratch it off. If you don't want to cut your hands, that's why I'm scratching it off. Now it's looking perfect, so I'm going to stick these in, but I need to make more. I need just a few more. All right, now that's all done, I want you to grab the bristles that we combined, right? And I want you to stick the butt in with the fluffy side out. Stick in like this. Put it in to the hole. It should look like that, right? Now when, when you do that, I want you to grab another zip tie. And use a big zip tie for this one. You don't have to. I want you to grab it and hold it in place on the outside so they're held in place on both sides. Because it's going to be stuck like that. 
Perfect. That's what you want. This house holding in place. See that? Continue it. Let's keep going. Do it right here so you can see. Now the zip tie. We can stick to the small ones. See what we're doing here? I'm gonna put this out of the way. And we're gonna continue the rest. Keep going. Let's put it a little bit closer. So you can see. Boom. No zip tie. Tighten it as much as possible, okay guys? And squeeze in a hole. Keep going. On this side. And zip tie. Almost done. All right, now it looks all confusing. I know, let me just cut off all the excess so we're exposed with what we need only. Cut, cut, cut. The fun part is cutting everything out. Almost done. It looks so much better without all the zip ties, I promise you. So just cut it out. Everything will fit now. No more clutter. And then cut off these little ones. Perfect. Now you are left with with this. Push the zip ties in. Push them in. Push them in. Perfect. 
and now you're left with this. Right? Look at that. Now, let's see what it's made for. Okay, so this is what we made. Now you guys have something to easily clean your fruits, your meats, whatever. And look, check this out. You just dip it in there, let it scrub for you. That's all you gotta really do. It's pretty amazing. It cleans out all your fruits for you. And look at that. Brand new and clean. Pretty great, guys. Now make it at home.